Hey guys, it's Tanya. I'm going to do a video on another topic. Yeah, another topic. We are in the process of adopting and ultimately, um, well, we're in the process of becoming foster parents and ultimately adopting. And so one of my Instagram friends hey, asked me um, if I was going to do a video on this topic. And so I thought, why not? I'll do a video on this topic, kind of talking about our journey to becoming um, foster parents. And so, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So just to kind of give you guys a little bit of background. We have fostered before in the past. Um, at the time, I think I was like 24, something like that. Um, I had two small children. I was fresh out of college. I was working. My husband was working. She was like 12 or 13. And we just did not know what we were doing. We really didn't. It, it was, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. And so we ultimately pulled back from the situation and later absolutely regretted that we threw in the towel so quickly and wished that we had the tools and the knowledge that we have now to have been able to parent her because ultimately we really did care about her and I would go as far as saying that we had a love for her but we just did not know what we were getting ourselves into. And so really that became a uh, huge kind of scar on our hearts. So fast forward, um, we decided to adopt. And so I always knew that I would adopt. That was always something that um, was on my heart. And so after that experience, it touched my husband's heart. And so he also was on, a board, on board and we decided to pursue the journey of adoption. And so um, at the time, we wanted an older child, we wanted a male, and we wanted a black child. And so we ended up getting a male and a black child, but he was a baby, which was fine and it worked out great. Um, but it was a roller coaster ride for us and continues to be a roller coaster ride. And as you know, roller coasters are scary, they're exciting, they make you laugh, they make you cry, they make you scream. It is just a amazing ride. And so that's kind of what we went on and what we've been on with our heart baby. And so um, the desire for me to adopt another child was always still there. But it wasn't quite there for my husband, and I continued to biologically have more children. So after I adopted, I had we had our angel baby, JB Jr., and then we had Major, and then we had Charlie, and then we moved. <laughs> so um, just kind of one thing after another. And so as life kind of began to settle down, that desire for me to adopt kind of erupted in me, and um. I kind of told my husband he quite wasn't there, wasn't feeling that same desire. And so I said, you know what, if this is meant to be, if this is a God thing, then we're going to be on one accord and he's going to have that desire as well. And he's going to get the message as well. And so I left it, I left it alone. And then my husband came to me and one day and just said, hey, you know, I think we should talk about this adoption thing and I'm like what for real you serious you playing you messing with me stop playing and um he was like yeah I'm serious and so I was like okay so we talked about it and um talked about how this would fit for us if this was something that we could do and just really really um got deep into talking about it and meditating and praying about it and so we decided this is something that we both want to do and thus the journey began so for us we decided that we wanted to adopt a sibling group that's number one and so no more than three and we would like the oldest child in that sibling group to be 11 or let me say no older than 11 um, we prefer that the oldest child be a girl, and we will go down as young as a baby in that sibling group. So that's kind of our desire for adoption. And we want a child or children that are in DCS custody. So with that type of criteria, we had to first become foster parents, certified foster parents. 
So we had to go through the training again, even though we've done it before. We had to do it again, which is fine. Which is fine. And so um, we started that process. So in my state, you have um, training that is called PAP, which stands for Parents as Tender Healers. And um, that class is about eight weeks long, and you go uh, every week, one day a week, every week for that training. So we have completed that training. <laughs> and um, then you also have to have a home study done. And basically what that is, is the person comes out to your house, they check your house, they make sure it's up you know, to par, you have enough space. Um, mm -hmm. They do a background check, fingerprints. They ask you all kind of personal, private questions to get all up in your business. And then they um, compile all of your information to a book. Mommy. Give me just a second. Okay fire diffused <laughs> so in this home study so they come they put together a book and um, that is what they present to the caseworkers of the children we are done with that Thank God. this is a lot of paperwork guys lots and lots and lots of paperwork you have to have your marriage certificate everybody's birth certificate that's in your family um, background checks fingerprints um, you have to submit pet records if you have a pet, your homeowner's insurance. I mean, every single piece of information that you have about your life, you have to give it to them. And so um, we're done with that process as well. The agency that we are using is a therapeutic agency. So that means they get children that are um, at a higher level. I don't want to say a higher risk, but just a higher level. And so we have to um, complete CPR training, medication training, um, parenting the delinquent child, and another training that I don't remember the name. So we still have those trainings to do. Prayerfully and hopefully we will be done with training by the end of August. So, um, yes, so we still have those trainings to do so um as i stated ultimately for us we um had the desire and still have the desire to adopt however as we completed the um, path training our hearts kind of began to stir for fostering and so um what we realized is that there is a need for black families black homes and then black families where there's you know a wife and a husband in the family and so um you know we're kind of a rare commodity type thing and so we thought man that is kind of sad you know and so um our hearts kind of began to stir for actual fostering however we homeschool and so we don't want anything, any decision that we make to ever disrupt our children's lives. And so with the fostering part of it, we decided we want to do this. However, we have to protect our children and we have to protect these children. So we felt the best thing to do was to um, only foster children up to the age of five. So we will not foster um, a child that is school age because we homeschool and because we don't want to be dropping that child off at school and then they're coming home and our kids are like, oh, we did this, we went here, we went that, and then that child is not feeling like they are part of the family unit. So that is a big thing for us. So we decided that we would only go up to the age of five. However, our hearts are really, 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 really turning and... Um, we are really having a strong desire to foster teenage girls who are pregnant. We're not quite sure yet how that will work for our family, but that is something that we've kind of been having the discussion about and if this is something we'll do in the future. So that's where we are with fostering. So let's see what else. My kids are ecstatic. <laughs> They have been asking us to adopt since the earthquake in Haiti. That's how long it's been on their heart. 
So they, um, when we finally got to that place of saying, we're going to do this, they were like, yay, yes, yes, yes. So they ask us just about every day, how far are you guys in the adoption process? How far are you guys? How much more training? How much more do we got to do? So they're excited. They would have 15,000 kids in this house if they could. So they are very, very excited. Um, let's see what else. I mean, we're excited. Um, for us, I feel like it is a calling. We want to parent. We absolutely love parent being parents and the joy that children bring to our life is just beyond measure. You know, I feel like our hearts, our home, um, are just, it's just open. It's big enough for all children, you know, whether I birth them or they come to me through my heart. Or I just feel like children are a blessing no matter what. And every, 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 every single child deserves love, a family, and a home. They just do. They did not ask to be in their particular situation. They didn't choose it. And so for us, that is the reason that we have really felt um, the call to adopt and now to foster. And so that's kind of what got us to this place. So that's where we are. I have a training coming up and um, should be done with training by the end of August and should have our hopefully first placement in September. Yay! Not sure if it'll be um, our adopted adoptive group, the meaning the group that we want to eventually adopt, or if it will just be a fostering situation. I'm not sure yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns on this topic, please feel free to leave them. I know I didn't give a lot and a lot, a lot of details um, about the process. I just kind of want to bring you guys up to speed. So if there's something specific you want to know, let me know and I'll answer it for you. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.